Hello friends, it's Angelina and Dima from Walking Anchi World and we're back on GR11. Last year we already did the part of this trail getting through Andorra, but this time we are determined to continue hiking in Catalonia, starting from the Estan de San Mauricio National Park and moving towards the Ardessa Monte Perdido National Park and then possibly get to Navarra region. This time we're planning to hike for 10 to 14 days, doing 15 or 18 kilometers per day. And of course, as always, stealth camping all the way through. So for this first day we start from Gingeta de Aneu, get through the village spot and camp somewhere close to the Estan de San Mauricio. And we want to start this hike gradually because this is our first long distance hike this year. And so today we'll do only around 16 kilometers uphill. Also we try to plan these stages so that we'll do major elevation gain in the morning, then getting down to the valleys to spend the night at the lower altitudes. So I want to hope that at least most of our plan will come true and without further ado, let's get started. We are starting this trail at the beginning of August already because we've been waiting for a long time for the weather to establish. It's been pretty crazy, raining and even snowing at the end of July, so we had to wait. And now we think there is a heat wave coming, so it's gonna be like crazy hot instead of crazy cold. So we still don't quite know how we're gonna manage it, but we'll try. We hope that the nights will be warmer and so. So yeah, it's like hiking in the peak hot season. <laughs> This several kilometers part we to spot we have to follow this car road it's not really busy but still there is quite a bit of cars passing by so yeah but it strangely goes on the car road we're back in the shade feels so nice after the sunny part on the car road it was brutal As you can see, we go fully loaded this time again. I have a 70 liter backpack and it's packed to the max. We got lots of food supplies for several days. Yeah, as always, we have at the very start the four day stretch with no supermarkets or no place to resupply. We had to get a lot of cereals, our dry bread is always like mushrooms, tomatoes, dehydrated ones. But still, it's like it like weighs a lot, a lot. So it's like a lot of weight on the shoulders. So we hope to eat more today and like these days so that we can go more lightweight it gets lighter and lighter so this is what we hope for now seeing how many people are around and how crowded everything is we wanted to know that it is unfortunately the truth for this month, for the month of August. And so if you want to escape this high peak season, you need to go off that, so in July, September. But then, you know, the weather is less stable in here in the mountains than in August. So this is why we decided to go this season. But it really depends from year to year. This year uh, was a reality that in July it was impossible to go. So. Yeah, we have to go in August with all the crowds. And we actually yesterday got to our starting point, can get a Danel, and there we spent the night in the camping, in the campground. And it was really noisy and crowded, and that's why we didn't sleep very well. So this is where we realized like 
there's a lot of people not only on the coastline but also in the mountains in August so this is something to keep in mind hopefully we'll sleep better today just had a nice rest here in the shade, had our lunch, we just have seven kilometers more to go, climbing up. And yeah, before we just passed the small village spot, which is uh, like a small typical Pyrenean village. Uh, we bought like several peaches and a little bit of tomatoes and just had ice cream. And after when we were getting out of the village, we saw like the gate, which serves like an entrance to the Estan de San Marici National Park. And we guess they charge a fee for the car, pass with your car if you want. We think there is a parking lot there close to the refugee house and yeah this is just something to know but if you go by feet you just pass by it there, there is no problem and also yeah we see quite a bit of traffic there's like lots of tracks uh, probably picking up people from above and getting down to the village so. Because we started a bit late today and also because it's our first day of the hike we now have to hike in the middle of the day and in the hottest time of the day and it's really hot you guys <laughs> don't know how to transmit it to you even in the shade it's hot and now it's a little bit of, of the wind so it's better but still uh, we have like six kilometers more to go but just like sweating <laughs> throughout the body so yeah I definitely need to start earlier tomorrow So we are at the end of our day. We think we have found potential camp spot. We didn't get to the Lake Maurici. We have two kilometers left, but because it's already late, almost 5 p.m. now, and we have to take a shower, cook our dinner, do a lot of chores, so we need quite a bit of time. Yeah, and to be honest, we also want to rest more because tomorrow is a big day. We know that it's gonna add even more kilometers to the day of tomorrow because we already have 20 plus kilometers to do. But tomorrow's day is gonna be different because we'll have uh, half of the day of uphill and then the next half is going to be the downhill part. So we're kind of expecting that the downhill part will be able to do faster, right? And this way we'll get till 2 or 3 p.m. at our place and we'll be able to get down. So we have a big day ahead tomorrow and today we're gonna rest. Today was warming up day. We did around 12 or 13 kilometers, but it's okay for the first day. The weather is very hot now. Yeah, right. And it was making it harder <laughs> on us. Yeah. And yeah, and honestly like going after 2 p.m. is like crushing. So we don't want to be on the trail at that time, at that hour. So we'll do our best tomorrow and the next days not to do that and so yeah well we'll show you our camp spot probably I don't know cooking our dinner doing something uh, camping related and yeah but for the rest we'll see you tomorrow guys bye bye, bye. Thanks a lot for watching, hope you enjoyed this hiking trip, if so, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more hiking adventures. Don't forget to hit the bell to stay notified about every new video. Visit our website walkingnatureworld.com to find detailed hike reports with pictures and maps. Hope you have a wonderful day and we'll see you very soon!